just rearing slightly. They're off and away for the 2022 Dali July Cup. Naval Crown very fast into stride on the far side from Emirati Anna and over there alcohol free. Creative Force chasing them. Down the near side, Twilight Jet from Flaming Rib and King Hermes. And they're followed by Double or Bubble and Happy Romance at the back on the near side group. Chasing them on the far side, Cadamosto with Artorius. And then Perfect Power is some way back at the moment with Romantic Proposal. And alcohol free is wide of the group. Naval Crown from Emirati Anna on the far side, chased by Creative Force and Alcohol Free. Twilight Jet down this near side from King Hermes. Artorius is being asked to improve from Cadamos to Romantic Proposal then Perfect Power. Near side, Flaming Rib under pressure with Double or Bubble and Happy Romance. They head on now inside the final quarter mile. It's Naval Crown on the right in the white cap, still just about the leader. Chased by Alcohol Free, who's just edging left under pressure. Chased then by Creative Force. Behind these is Emirati Anna, Double or bubble perfect power can't get into it alcohol free leading on the far side of naval crown as they race up towards the line it's the Philly alcohol free for rob hornby and alcohol free rob hornby second group one of the week naval crown second artorius running on well the aussie battler into third and they were away from creative force emirati anna and double or bubble it's now two group one wins within the space of 24 hours for the man on my right, Rob Hornby, because on board, alcohol free, who won the Dali July Cup. If yesterday with Prosperous Voyage in the Farmer Stakes was a bit crazy, <laughs> what is this? I don't know what to say, really. Um, speechless. Just um, earlier in the week, I was speaking to mum. I said, oh, I've got you know, two group one rides in two days. It's fantastic. And, you know, just really looking forward to, to riding them and, and having the opportunity to ride them. And... Um, to go and win two group ones in two days is, is just crazy, yeah. <laughs> you know, coming into today, we obviously very excited and, you know, that she, ran a, she ran a good race at Ascot, uh, coming back to six furlongs. But I was, we were unsure on the ground, might have been a bit quick, but, I mean, she's just, she's blowing them all away, really. She um, she was a bit unorganised for the first half of the half of the race, and she can sometimes do it, get a bit dis, disunited, and I just had to let her organise herself. But from halfway then, I really felt it just really kick in and, you know, real fire in her belly today. And she hit that rising ground, you know, so well and, and, and stays to six, you know, strongly. But, um, yeah, like, like, just so grateful and, you know, a hell of a training performance from, from Andrew and, and everyone back at, at Park House because she's a, she's a fiery character. There's, there's a, she's got a lot of personality and um, there's a lot of people that have to manage it along the way. So, um just thrilled for, for everyone involved. And you've known this filly very well. You rode her as a two-year-old, of course, when she was also a Group 1 winner in Cheveley Park. Ultimately, she finished the season with. I was the only, I'm the only jockey to not win the races on her after <laughs> before today. Um, yeah, I knew her as a two-year-old, and obviously the opportunity arose this year that, that I'd ride her, and having no, having knowing her and, you know, ride her a lot at home in, in her gallops. Um, yeah, just... You know, it was one of those. We were beat at Sandown, coming in favourite, and you think, oh, maybe she's 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 not quite where she was um, last year. And but then we've tweaked things. She's always shown lots of natural speed, but but with stamina as well. And uh, you know, to go and do it in such an impressive way and in a high-class field like that is just um, just fantastic. And for for Mrs. Smith, you know. It, she, she's going to have a long and, and an exciting um, breeding career, which is so good to see these colours in, in these these huge races that they have been for so many years. And, and you know, we really look forward to that continuing. Yes, this is the the one that locks on fluff, isn't it? When she was to beat in favourite, now he's got this uh, July Cup via alcohol free. She's. A, I'm so impressed with the training performance, and you refer to it. The whole team behind it. Group one winner at, at two, three, and now four at a different trip. And I, I'll be honest, I thought this season was going was sliding worst. Yeah, no, exactly. A, a, a hell of a performance to to do it every year. Um, you know it is it, it, it is and, and a great you know call to, to come back to six four and she, she's obviously she, she's always shown plenty of speed and um, and like I say she's got the stamina there as well and um, yeah it, she really deserved to, to kind of go and do that because we always still thought that that's why she stayed in training mm. you know confident that she's still going to retain all her ability and um, you know I mean she's she's, she's really um, 
she, she won that really well today. She, she really, really did. And as you said, a deep field. You said yesterday's Group 1 win with Ray Beckett was significant. But you also mentioned Andrew Balding when you were talking afterwards there and the formative role that he and his team has made in your career. I wonder if you can reflect on that a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I went down to, to Parkhouse Stables um, when I was 16, you know, straight, straight from school. And, um, you know, it's nearly 11 years now that that, that association's been going. and. You know, I just can't thank the whole boarding family enough. You know, it's such a such a pleasant community down there. It's, it, it's you know, I went down there six, 16, and you, you don't feel like it's a job. I was just living the dream and um, and getting paid for it. So it was it was amazing, really. But just how you know how Andrew's given me so many opportunities and and give me you know legs up and and um, you know this is where all jockeys want to be competing and. Um, you know, I was always confident I'd, I'd gone to the right place as, as a young young um, jockey, and um, to still be associated and, and to be riding for such a powerful yard, along with you know lo lots of other trainers that I, I ride for and, and work with, it's um, it's fantastic. Yeah, I, I know they'll all be absolutely buzzing back back at the yard. They, um, she's she's um, she's a special horse at, at the yard. So how significant is this moment for you now? I mean, clearly, Group 1 yesterday, Group 1 here today. I mean, you're really seeing it. You're massively in the zone at the moment. What does it mean? It's just crazy. Yeah, I, it, everything, really. You know, this is... Um, everyone says, oh, this is why we all do it. But it, it genuinely is, and it's so hard to do, to... to, to um, to, to get the opportunity is one thing, and then to, for, to then go and win, you know, or, or, or just do your best it, it is another thing. And um, for that to have gone the way it has done today and, and yesterday for, for two very significant people in my riding career is is um, is, is so important for for any jockey's career, let alone my own. So um, just just very honoured and, and pleased and thankful. Well, thank you very much. You've spoken so well and you've also ridden so well. <laughs> uh, many congratulations. Well done. Thank you very much, thank Lydia. You.